Every year, cities around the world are devastated by natural disasters such as floods, earthquakes, and hurricanes. Although modern technology has given us earthquake-proof buildings, urban flood planning, and radar that can predict the path of dangerous storms, severe damage still occurs as a result of these natural forces. And such extreme events are becoming more frequent and more intense due to climate change. Ancient civilizations, however advanced they were, often lacked much of the scientific knowledge we have these days about the forces of nature, and many paid the ultimate price for it. Relics of these ancient civilizations remain to this day. Excavations through volcanic sediment, sand, and mud have uncovered intact artifacts from many of them. Underwater exploration has also revealed monuments, buildings, and artifacts from cities that were inundated by the sea. Sometime around 4000 BC, a Norwegian settlement near what is now the village of Hamra was buried under a thick layer of sand, probably from the flooding of a nearby river. The sand helped preserve weapons, buildings, and some of the only known examples of intact Stone Age pottery in Norway. The prehistoric villagers who once occupied what has been called a mini Pompeii are part of a group that has been dubbed the Funnel Beaker culture because of the distinct shape of their pottery. Haman Manga, one of the biggest and best preserved ancient villages in China, holds a captivating mystery. Although the village contains many huts, archaeologists found one that was crammed full of charred skeletons, 97 of them. Scientists believe that an infectious disease was killing villagers faster than they could be buried, so they were stacked in the hut and burned. Harapan Civilization A Bronze Age society in modern-day Pakistan was once an advanced civilization, containing two major cities Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa. The cities have been excavated, revealing highly developed water systems and urban planning. Unfortunately, 200 years of drought brought this 5 million person civilization to ruin. The island of Thera, now known as Santorini, was once home to a Bronze Age Minoan settlement called Akrotiri. Sometime around 1600 BC, a volcanic eruption with a volcanic explosive index of 6 to 7. Greater than that of Vesuvius it buried Akrotiri and formed the bay at the center of the island. Excavation of the site has revealed preserved buildings, art, pottery, and frescoes. A 5th century disease outbreak ravaged the people of Athens for five years. Victims suffered from fever, vomiting, ulcers, diarrhea, and bleeding from the mouth. Some theories point to Ebola as the probable cause of the epidemic that killed a quarter of the population of Athens and signaled the end of the Golden Age of Greece. The ancient Peloponnese city of Helike was demolished in a single night by a tsunami, which submerged the whole city and its populace. An advanced Roman port city of 11,000 inhabitants, Pompeii began to experience seismic activity in 79 AD, including massive earthquakes and poisonous gases leaking from the ground. A few days later, nearby Mount Vesuvius erupted, killing a majority of the city's inhabitants. Those who didn't escape died the next day, when the volcano erupted again, this time with an even more powerful wave of heat. Spanning what is now Central America and Mexico, the Mayan Empire was once an advanced civilization, boasting technological feats, including a calendar system, mathematics, advanced agricultural practices, and urban planning. Although the cause of the Mayan decline is debated, many scientists attribute it to a drought that spanned two centuries, coinciding with the abandonment of many Mayan cities. Norse Vikings settled in Greenland during a particularly warm period in history from 800 to 1200 AD. During this time, settlements likely thrived due to the relative ease of agriculture. Unfortunately, the warm days were numbered, and the the Little Ice Age of the 14th and 15th centuries caused the Vikings to abandon their settlements on the frigid island.